So what's up you guys? I just made another video uh that I'm about to upload about the Crown Victoria that I you know I got it back. It had the LCM recall, stuff like that done on it. Um it's all good to go for right now. Uh and the, this video is about the car. Um but the truck, like I said, it's it's here. Uh got the tent done, made a video about that if you want to see. Uh it's all it's covered in pollen, even though I washed it the other day, but around this time of the year it's it's inevitable for at least a month or a few weeks so i'll just have to deal with it for a little while which is not a big deal so anyways back to what i'm saying so this is about the, the crown vic so unfortunately there's going to be some time here in the near, near future that i'm going to sell this uh there's a lot of stuff that this car needs i made the mistake of doing this with the tahoe i don't want to do it to this car and i don't want to spend a lot of money on it I may replace one or two more things, and that's probably it. Like the whole front suspension needs to be rebuilt. I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to let anybody know that it's going to need suspension work because it does pop a pretty good bit. And I know that these cars are really bad about ball joints failing. Uh, I'm going to probably replace the grill just because that grill looks like shit. Like you see, it's all cracked and there's chrome pe peeling off of it. Because I've already replaced the headlights and the corner lights or parking lights, whatever you want to call them uh i've put wiper blades on it which that's nothing that's nothing major uh, i've done a bunch of stuff to this car uh the ac does not work uh it's not excuse me uh it's the ac doesn't work it does not get cold the ac the compressor doesn't even kick on so i don't know what's wrong with it i'm not gonna fix it i have a truck that's got perfectly good working ac so i'm not gonna bother with it uh so that means you know it is for sale I mean, it's going to be for sale up until somebody actually buys it or I trade it in or I sell it to a dealership, whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, I will sell it with the wheels on it. I'll sell it without the wheels on it, but it'll be at a more expensive price if I sell it with the wheels on it. I'll sell it with the subs and the wheels and all that stuff. I'll sell it without all that stuff. Like, I'll sell it with the factory uh, wheels that came on. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a decent car for what it is. It's not perfect. It's not, like I've said before many times, this is not the best example of these cars at all. Um, it's it's really not. This car has really been neglected and not taken care of. So I don't think somebody elderly actually owned it. I think it was just somebody that didn't give a shit about the car. So that's why it looks like it does. That's why it has the issues it has. It probably sat for a good while. I'm sure it probably did since I saw that the tires were, that were on it or dry rotted really bad and cracked so i'm sure that somebody didn't take care of it so now i have it i'm the one having to foot the bill I'm, I'm the one having to replace stuff which i should have left it alone i should have said no i should have kept my tahoe because if i would have kept my tahoe i would have got the windows tinted in the tahoe and i wouldn't have to worry about you know paying for this shit that i've had to pay for because i know i've spent over maybe two thousand twenty five hundred dollars on this car by itself with you know the wheel spacers and the brakes and the radio which the radio i had so i didn't have to pay nothing for that but like the amp install kit the window switch the blower motor resistor all that stuff so <clears throat> like and the transmission filter and all that stuff but it is what it is uh it's part of living life you learn you live you know stuff like that i should have bought something that i wouldn't have to work on uh I apologize for yawning so much. Uh, I can't help it. I'm sorry. I am tired though. So, anyways, like I, I didn't have to work on the Tahoe. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's stuff that I wanted to do to it. Like you know, I wanted to replace the carpet. I wanted to replace a lot of the stuff on the inside. Uh, I wanted to get a lot of stuff working. Um, it was a nice vehicle for what it was. Uh, it it did what I needed it to do. It looked like I wanted it to, but you know, can't keep stuff forever. So. But the truck, the truck's not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, I've, I've paid way too much for it to just go and disappear and get sold unless somebody asks or unless somebody buys it for what I paid for it, which I don't see happening, especially with the miles that are on it. It's got really high miles. So it's not going anywhere. I'll basically drive it till the, either the transmission falls out of it or the wheels fall off of it or the motor blows up, one of the three. Uh, I'll probably do a lot more to it uh you know i'll probably lift it i'll do better exhaust because i don't really like the exhaust that's on it now uh i'll do engine stuff uh 
there's really not a whole whole lot that I can do to it. Uh, like I can do engine stuff, but I want to supercharge it, but the engine's kind of worn and tired, so I don't want to do that with a engine with 194,000 miles on it. Don't think that's a good idea. So, but anyways, like I said, that that's stuff that comes in the future, uh, and that's if that's if I, that's if if I even have this truck then. Like if if I were to get blessed with something whether it's a better job or more money somehow or something uh i'd go buy a brand new truck so yes i would buy another ram but we'll see so uh but there you go i mean that's the that's what's going on with these two vehicles uh the truck i will probably drive a lot more for some reason i just don't like driving the car i love these cars but not this one particularly uh I've I liked driving my town car. I like driving my Mercury. I like driving that other Crown Vic I had. But this one, for some reason, I don't know what it is. It doesn't really leave a sour taste in my mouth. But I just don't like driving it very much. I don't know what. I guess it's because it doesn't have window tint. I don't know. I just don't like it. So I won't drive it very often. It'll get driven occasionally, so the tires don't get bald or the, so the tires don't dry rot because they are still relatively new. I did wash it last week, but. The paint's shitty on it. It's been painted once before because it was in a wreck. And it's still got body damage. And it still has handprints on it that I can't get rid of. So I don't know what that's all about. But, yeah. The truck, it's the crown jewel. It's not going anywhere. Uh, I could probably do a comparison with my mom's truck. She's got a 2021 Silverado. But hers is the four-cylinder. It is a custom. That's the only engine you can get in the custom was a little four-cylinder. But I'd probably park them right next to each other so y'all can see the differences. So, anyway, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.